In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for chromium. And the first thing we need to do is to write the electron configuration for chromium. Chromium, that's atomic number 24, it means it has 24 protons, but since chromium is neutral, like all the elements on the periodic table, it also has 24 electrons. So we'll work with that number 24 to write our electron configuration. Chromium is right here, and we'll use the condensed electron notation. So we're going to start with argon right here, and that gets us up to 3p6. So after 3p6, we go to the fourth energy level. We have 4s1, 4s2, and then we're going into the d, 3d1, 2, 3, 4. So we would expect that this would be the electron configuration for chromium except chromium is an exception. It's an important exception like copper. So we have to do this a little bit differently. It turns out the d orbital, it holds up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's very stable when this is either full with 10 or half full with 5. So we're going to move one of the electrons from this 4s2 to the 3d4. We'll end up with 4s1, 3d5. And this is a much more stable electron configuration. So chromium is an exception in the d orbital. It's more stable when it's half full with five. So let's take a look at the atomic orbital configuration now for chromium. So because we have this 4s1 and the 3d5, the s actually, this should be a little bit higher energy than the 3d. So let's update that. So now the 4s, it's a little bit higher energy, and this is special for chromium and copper as well. So I'll fill everything in for argon first. So we've done this part. Now we have the 4s1 and then the 3d5. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for chromium. You'll see chromium and copper as two exceptions that are often included in school when you're learning chemistry. So just to recap, we had two electrons up here in the 4s but we moved the one over here because it's more stable when we have this 3D orbital, either half full like we have it here, or with copper we would have this completely full. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.